Good morning all. Welcome to the latest episode of Every Platform. Uh, today I'm actually, you could hear a lot of noise in the background really, where I am at the moment, which is Castle Carey Station, located on the Great Western Main Line, just beyond Taunton, about 20 minute journey from Taunton. Uh, today here, there's a lot of work going on. As you can see here, a big new footbridge is being installed at this station. Um, Apparently not open yet, but will be. Um, looking nice anyway, and needs an upgrade because the old footbridge is very rickety. Uh, even though it does lead out to an exit, we'll show you that in a bit. Um, so, um, today's plan, I'm off to Dorset today. You thought it might have been Wiltshire, it's not. It's Dorset I'm going to, but I'm changing here at Castle Care and have a bit of time here. So this is the first station to be covered today. The station itself serves uh, Great Western Railway services to London Paddington. They do call here on a basic two hour, two hour, every two hour basis, going to London and down south to either Exeter, Paynton, or even Plymouth and Penzance. Um, sometimes even Taunton, but not really very uncommon that you just go to Taunton. Uh, this station as well is also the junction for um, the Heart of Wessex line going to Weymouth. So beyond this line here, there's a little single track that just goes down and beyond, which takes you to Yeovil, Penmill and onwards towards Weymouth via some request stops, which a couple of those request stops we're visiting today. So you'll see those. Without me uh, banging on too much about it, uh, the station itself is very nice, well kept. Um, it's a lovely little building, even though it's having a ma massive amount of work done to it at the moment. The old footbridge is over there, we're going to take a look over it in a bit. There's a little hut which is over there, on either side there's a little shelter which you can wait in. I've waited in there many times for trains. Um, I've even waited there at about 8pm on a winter's evening and it was not very pleasant. We saw a, a very intoxicated um, gentleman who was actually walking along the platform on the day that I went here. And uh, yeah, that was that was interesting to say the least because he was known to the area and he lived in Yeovil and he just keeps coming there in the evening and walking around. I don't know if he still does, but there you go. Um, so yeah, lovely little station. I really like it. But without driving on too much, um, let's get started in the video today. Please do like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for more if you do enjoy what you see today. And without further ado, let's get started. Roll the intro. So here is the footbridge in question that I said was a bit sort of run down. It's this one here. So um, <laughs> I've taken many, many times where I've just had to leg it across this footbridge to get over to the uh, island platform over there, um, which uh, I'm not going to lie, with this, how steep these stairs are, it's not always easy. Um, I mean, I'm not going to lie, it's not the worst looking footbridge I've ever walked across, and it's certainly not as rickety as as I made it out to be, there's worse, but it's got a lovely view over and it's really good to get footbridge shots over here, as you, as you can actually see, and you can see the new footbridge there, probably 
gives the station a little bit of a new lease of life but not that much more it is already beautiful in its own way because if you walk over here you've got a very lovely countryside view and a couple of houses at the top there you probably have to be quite wealthy to live in an area like this it's countryside somerset countryside because this is actually somerset we're in at the moment um so yes and down here is the other way out so if you go down here you can obviously see the very small platform three which by the way only the weymouth services typically call that however i've been on a diverted hst on the west of england main line it's called there and i think when it was a hst in two plus eight formation there was probably only about three coaches that could fit on three mark threes that could fit out of the eight that existed so very very small but this is the other way out um i think yeah you walk around here and you're out basically it's a very very well, there's a gate i thought it was yeah so yeah this is it it's a really nice neck of the woods um i love this station so much so that's castle carey i'm gonna stop now and go have a quick look around okay passing through quite slowly is the now delayed 0924 pass from London Paddington to Plymouth Eight oh two double oh six and eight oh two zero one six. So normally they run through uh, about one hundred and ten miles per hour through here. However, um, basically there's been like some overrunning engineering works or something just up the line from Castle Carey. So this morning all lines were blocked up until about half past eight, um, just before I arrived actually. Um, the train that left, by the way, on my train was 800 through on, so just want to add that in. Um, going to London Pennington from Paynton. But yeah, that's basically what happened. Over in, over running engineering works, why it ran through slow. Okay, just arriving in now is going to be the 10.05 Great Western Railway service to Gloucester, which is 166204. station after waiting ages here but we're finally here so uh, yeah update you when I'm on board so just a quick update um, we're now at Yeovil Pen Mill um, I'm on board the turbo 165134 it's really really busy so I uh, stood up at the moment I was sat down but I was stood up now um, so yeah but uh, we're now making our way over to the next stop which is our stop where we're getting out of Cornford so I'll take you when you get there. Right, we're just now pulling into our next stop, which is Foonford. Thanks very much. So we watched the train go immediately, because it was a request stop, and we're the only ones who got off. Five one three three. We're here at Fulmford Station. It's a request stop on the Heart of Essex line. Uh, been here before, not got it on video though. But this is a lovely little station. Uh, it's literally a little halt. So that's all it is. There's nothing more to it. 
So, we're not here for very long, so we're going to take a walk over to another request stop and get the train from there, which is going to be Yetminster. But it's only about a 20 minute walk from here, so yeah, not far. And in here, you've just got the shelter. Which is nothing, but a little hut. It says about the history of Formford. Um, it's also near somewhere called Beerhacket. Is a very, I think it's like a little halt nearby. Um, but yeah, and Formford is as well. So yeah, this is a station. Very run down, not updated at all with station signs. We'll go look at the entrance. So just before we go, I wanted to try and get one of these on record. We've got the little help point here. There's a yellow button you can press. So we're going to press it. Please wait. And then you'll see what it does. This station is Thornford. The next train to arrive at this station in the direction of Dorchester and Weymouth will be 1119 Great Western Railway service to Weymouth. Some stops are only made by request. Please ensure the conductor knows where you wish to alight. The train this only calls fly. here on request. Passengers intending to join the train should stand on the platform in clear view of the driver of the approaching train and clearly signal their wish to board the train. The next train to arrive at this station in the direction of Yeovil and Westbury will be 1153 Great Western Railway service to Gloucester. I'm ready for the noise. That. That's the help point. You get them at most stations. Um anywhere really when there's like little use to them I think Yetminster's, uh... yeah Yetminster's only a few, uh, little bit of a walk away so we're heading there now yeah, well, um, sure. but yeah these are the steps that take you up to uh, the top of Formford station then there's the road bridge up here which you can look over the station so we'll look at that very quickly and then go uh, we've got a bit of time to get there so we might as well make tracks there it is lovely view over actually really like that um so yeah formford station and there's the sign the entrance and the steps down so yes right so we've just made it over to yetminster station and just walking in to the station platform now another one platform station and another request stop as well so that's the third request stop i've done in the series next to formford and also Exton, so they're done. So, yeah, this station here is um, again m m a better looking one, that's for sure. And um, there's not really a lot due through, I don't think, anyway. But here we have Yetminster, a lovely little one platform station in a very nice area. The walk was really nice and quite quick as well, so it wasn't bad. This station doesn't have an auto help point, so I can't look at that. But what I will say, it's got a nice little hut here. The waiting shelter is this here. It's been more refurbished than Formford has. And then uh, the station sign once again, I'm refurbished. But then as well, you've got the steps that lead up. So that is a waitress van. Step, um, steps that lead up to the top of the uh, road bridge up here, which you can have a look at and a look over the station, which we'll go have a look at in a minute. But in terms of the service pattern, like Formford, it's just a sporadic service pattern between Weymouth and Castle Carey and onwards to Westbury, Bristol, Gloucester, Worcester, Great Malvern. So, yes. Right, so here's the steps that take you up to the top of the road bridge here at Yetminster. I mean, out of the two, Yetminster's better. Formford's a lovely little one, but more run down than Yetminster's better. Nicer little station. Sorry. There's a look over. Lovely little station. So, that's the Edmonds station. There's the sign that lets you in. Obviously, you walk through the other entrance. But yeah, really like it here. Onward to the next stop, then. This is the two request stops we're doing today. One from the Edmonds yes. There is also Chetnol, but Chetnol will be done another time. So, 
keep an eye out in the future for that one but I'll let you know where our next stop is in a minute okay arriving in now is going to be the 1122 Great Western Railway Service to uh, Weymouth this train is going to take us to our next stop which is Dorchester West and we have 166203 We're going to get on board this one now and I'll update you when we are on board. So we're now on board our train. This one's taking us to Dorchester West. It's very busy on board, as you can probably tell. Um, it's not busy in this side, but the other one it was packed. Um, yeah. The train now calls it Chetnall Main Newton before it gets to Dorchester West, which is our stop. Um, and again, we have 166283, so we'll take you when we get to Winchester. This line is really nice as well, it's worth a, really worth a ride on. Right, we're now arriving into Winchester West, our next station. Been here many times before, it's a lovely station. We see this train go out, and then I'll update you from there. Okay, going on now is 166203, heading out to Weymouth. 1153 service from Gloucester. Struggling to move. Right, so we've reached Dorchester West station as 166203 goes out. There's a gentleman that was to my left who was talking to me just a minute ago. He's actually a volunteer, a Heart Wessex Line volunteer, and he was telling us about some good trackside locations on the line. So one called Poundbury Hill Fort, don't know if anyone knows it, but it sounds really good. Um, and there's also the road bridge just up there, which he's recommended as well. So it's good to get shots of like both, well, the whole junction basically. So good suggestions. Uh, the station itself, Dorchester West, is a passing loop, so it serves uh, the stations on the line. So it serves pretty much the Heart of Wessex line. Um, and is two platforms, so it isn't single track. And is, like I said, it's a passing loop. And the signalling's a lot better here as well in terms of, you know, trains going in and out. It's not the only station in Dorchester. We're actually going to the other one in just a minute, Dorchester South. Uh, so you can see we're switching lines and then yeah that's uh, Dorchester West station we're going to take a quick look at the footbridge and then head out to the entrance and then go nice little station this right so just on the footbridge here of Dorchester West a bit more rundown but the overview of the station is pretty decent so um, there's the station, the two platforms there. And then over here, you can see the signals are a bit better here. Some of the stations on the Art of Wessex are semaphored. So, with semaphore signals. And over there, the little yellow railings, if you see, they're actually building a step free entrance into Dorchester West from the other side. There's a lot of building work going on, so potentially a new build or a new area. Oh no, it's not really actually, it's just that little bit. So it's just an entrance they're building. Probably wheelchair access. Maybe a new car park as well, because um, it needs that. Uh, yeah, so on the other side, of course, you get a couple of volunteers down there as well who who deal with um, looking after the station. And yeah, that's Dorchester West. We're going to walk over to South now, and uh, we're going to get some food on the way. Right, here's the entrance to Dorchester West, and there's a Domino's Pizza literally integrated into the station. I have mentioned this before in older videos. So you would have remembered I've done that. Uh, but the station entrance itself 
is literally just that little hut there and like I said the set free one isn't open yet so this is the only entrance before anyone moans at me um, so yes and the dominoes right out there and all the motorbikes that deliver pretty cool uh, so we're going to take a walk now we're going to stop off for some food on the way and the next station you'll see on the next clip will be Dorchester South so this is the sign here for Dorchester South just up here and as we take a stroll over walking in here Dorchester South Station is literally around the corner um, through this street down here I was going to go and get a walk in but it looks like there's going to be a bit of traffic um, this is lorries reversing but yeah I'll update you when we get a little bit closer right walking up here around the entrance this is the entrance to Dorchester South very small looking entrance it's only a small building don't think so it's quite modern and as you walk around here we've just got a little plaque up here it's about Dorchester an artist vision of Dorchester ish um, and then here's an entrance because the ticket office is closed here's the station completely curved platform um, so expect when triple fours come in here a lot of flange happens another artist impression of Dorchester very nice um, so the station here serves South Western Railway between Weymouth and London Waterloo only um, and it is usually triple fours you will get the very occasional 450 but it will mostly be triple fours here it is a nice little station I have regrettably on the trains out video here before that was the biggest regret of my life because there was it was boring as hell um, because there was nothing here other than 444s um, yes we'll update you when a train at least just one train arrives soon so footbridge at Dorchester South is quite big probably not going to be able to see over it again actually no I might no I can see over this one that's all right just yeah. about Actually, maybe not. It's not too bad. But there it is. That's Dorchester South from the footbridge perspective. Uh, the footbridge itself is really run down. It's really yucky. So, nothing much to it, but yeah. That's the view over. Not too bad. Signals all improved here. Well, they've been like this for a long time, but yeah. Um, other than that, I rate this one probably less than I rate Dorchester West. I think Dorchester West is the nicer looking of the two. But um yeah definitely. So um yeah that's there is the and actually up there a place called Brewery Square. Sorry Brewery Brewery cannot say it properly. Can't even say my own surname properly. Brewery Brewery Brewery, Brewery okay. Square it might be brewery yeah no, funny i'm never ever gonna live that down now let me see my own surname right anyway it's named after me hooray it says here uh, services if you want to go to yeovil westbury in bristol follow signs to dorchester west from the end of station approach road so they do actually direct you over to dorchester west from here as well probably same as they do at dorchester west but we never noticed it there Okay, that's the part now is the 12.34 South Western Railway service to London Waterloo from Weymouth. A few loads of flange. That's triple four zero two eight. There. Heading around the curve. Next stop for that one is Morton. Okay, and comes our train next, take us to the next station. This is Triple Four Double O Two, and the Twelve Forty Nine South Western Railway service to Weymouth. Once again, we'll update you when we are on board. There's a little pattern of a jellyfish. Looks like or something. Someone's done something to it. Right, so now on board triple four double O two. We're just leaving Dorchester South. 
from what the guard just said, it's our next stop, it's Huckway. That's where we're going next. So, um, we'll update you when we get there. Okay, so we've just arrived now here into Upway. At least that door didn't take ages to get open. So, we'll update you in just a minute. Okay, about to go out is 444002, heading out on the... Say it, say it, sorted. Uh, 12.55, delay 12.55, Southwestern Railway service to Weymouth from London Waterloo, but it's next stop of Weymouth. So that one goes. And that will then form a service, which you we'll probably will see here actually, go to London Waterloo a little bit later. Right, so um, this is Upway Station. Um, this particular station is um, located on, well, it's between Dorchester and Weymouth and it's the intermediate station. Now the station itself, I believe, is literally just outside of the, what's well, in the outskirts of Weymouth itself. So, but I do think, I could be wrong there actually, I think it might be in Weymouth, but there are only two stations in Weymouth and I think this is the other one. Um, as you see, it's got another classic old station sign. I do love seeing these. It is a lovely, it is a very retro sign. I saw this at uh, Malvern Link. We've also seen it at Leamington Spa. So pretty good. Um, but Upway Station overall um, serves South Western Railway to London Waterloo from Weymouth normally. And also Great Western Railway to Gloucester, etc. They also call here as well, going to Worcester, Etc. They it, this station is also the junction for both lines. So the southwestern main line going towards Dorchester South, and the Heart of Wessex line going towards Dorchester West. And we do see a GWR service very shortly calling here, going to Gloucester. So keep an eye out for that. Um, footbridge. We'll go look at it in a minute and look over the station and the entrance as well. But the station, in my opinion, is one of the nicer ones on the line. Very well kept, and it's on a bank as well, as you can see. It's. Uh, very very good um, right so over here you got the sign uh, over the footbridge the platform one for trains to Yeovil, Westbury, Bath, Bristol, Gloucester, Bournemouth, Southampton and London Waterloo pretty accurate uh, obviously there are a couple of exceptions there as well with trains beyond Gloucester but I actually don't think they do that much I think mostly when they start from Weymouth they go to Gloucester that's about it or Bristol, yeah. Um, late night services. Um, there are some pretty late night services there. there was on the heart of Wessex. Worcester. Yeah, that goes from Worcester, yeah. And there's one from Great Mor a couple from Great Malvern as well. Um there's the view over on either side. And the view over there looks really nice. Zigzaggy curve. Okay, so about sideway um Weymouth upway station. Um For some reason, they put Cardiff and Swindon on this sign. Platform one this side for trains to Dorchester, over Westbury, Bath, Bristol, Cardiff, Swindon. I suppose when it did the Weymouth Wizard, maybe. No, Weymouth Wizard never went to Cardiff and Swindon. Went to Bristol. Um, weird. come from Swindon once? Actually, there may have been a... I know there's a Weymouth Swindon on a Sunday, but not Cardiff. That's weird. Um, but anyway. So... The outside, a bit more run down. Car park, very small. And the entrance is literally just up these steps over here. So, um, no step free access to the station. Um, don't think. Actually, no, there is. There's a little ramp, a tiny little ramp that you can go up over here. And that takes you up into the platform. So, no, it does have step free access in some sort of way. So, yeah. Yeah. This is the station. So we're going to wait for uh, a couple of trains that will pop in and out. Keep you updated with them as they come in. Okay, arriving now is going to be the 1316 Great Western Railway service to Gloucester. And this is 166203 on its return.
see this one go out in a minute. Okay, going on now is the 1316 Great Western Railway Service to Gloucester from Weymouth. So that one now, next stop will be Dorchester West, followed then by Maiden Newton, and then the request stops for Chetnall, Yetminster, Formford, Yeovil Pen Mill, and then Castle Carey before it carries on towards Westbury and Bristol. So there that one goes. Okay, and another train arriving is the 1324 South Western Railway service from Weymouth to London Waterloo. The other train we're going to film before our one. That was a lovely arrival. See you go out in a minute. Okay, going out now is the 1324 to London Waterloo from Weymouth. The train's gone out and the announcement's still going. Right, it's finished now. There we go. Right, so there it goes, heading over to London Waterloo from Weymouth. Right, there's no more trains now. Only wanted to get the couple there that were coming in. Next one will be R1 at 1355 to Weymouth. Okay, arriving now is going to be 444008 forming the 1355 South Western Railway service to Weymouth from London Waterloo. Next stop for this one is Weymouth, so you can guess where we're going, to Weymouth. I'll update you when we're on board. Right, now the party up way. On board our triple four, which is triple four double eight. Kind of busy, not too bad. Um, I'll update you when we arrive into Weymouth. Right, so we've just made it here to Weymouth. And uh, we'll update you in a minute. We've got another train due in into the platform in just a moment. We'll go see what that one is. Uh, this is actually going to be our train back out a little bit later on. We've got about 20 minutes here. Okay, now arriving, we've got a terminating Great Western Railway service from uh, Gloucester, terminating here at Weymouth, with 166209 being the unit, another blue one. So there's that one. So Weymouth Station is the terminus of the South Western Main Line and the heart of Wessex Line. So Great Western Railway will operate services on a sporadic pattern, usually every two hours. Sometimes it can be hourly. Let's just say that on the heart of Wessex Line. South Western Railway operate an hourly service still on the Waterloo at the moment. On weekends it's half hourly. It used to be half hourly all the time, but that changed in the timetable. Uh, we'll go look at the entrance and the station is three platforms all with buffers at the end of them it is a complete terminus station so we're going to go have a look outside and then head on our train right so uh, our train here oh, our train here we just uh, left the station there's a seagull there hello um here's weymouth entrance it's hidden beneath the tree 
pinned beneath the leaves, but here it is. It's quite modern, quite big. Not through it, they'd be our time there. And someone's playing Stormzy. And um, yes. So, uh, if we pop up, it's a modern building. And like I said, quite welcoming, but it is a little bit hidden. Got a big roundabout here with the car park, just sort of surrounding it. Most of the drop off points around here though. Um, but yes, we head inside, walk through the concourse and head to our train. Our train is that one, 1420 to London Waterloo. Triple four double oh eight. Our train again. So we're gonna go board it and get ready. So the car park's actually over here um, for Weymouth. Um, station car park. There's also McDonald's and loads of shops which are just adjacent to the station. Um, I've had many times filming here. Really, really enjoyed my times when I have been here in the past. Most notable one, probably when Lord Dowding came in. Um, a few back in 2017, um, I did sound very unexcited about it because steam trains, I must admit, aren't my favourite trains in the world. Um, but yeah, and also we had a good time when the Weymouth Wizard was down here, HST, so they used to run here as well. So that's some good memories here. Um, but yes, what we're going to do now, we're going to head on board our train um, and we'll be making our way to the next station which will be Wareham. So we'll see you there. Right, now leaving Weymouth on board 44008. We're on our board. Making our way, next stop will be Wareham. So, update when we get there. Refurbished seats on these ones, even on the old livery, so pretty cool. This is where this train is for. Now made it to Wareham Station. I'll update you in just a moment and wait for the train to leave. So it goes triple four double oh eight, heading over to London Waterloo. Wareham station, we're at now. Uh, this station, quite nice, nice uh, canopy that actually goes over both ends of the platform and uh, with the ticket office as well. So, serves the basic half hour, well, serves the basic pattern, but yeah. Right, so we're currently just walking around Wareham station. This station is um, just serves the basic hourly service between London, Waterloo and Weymouth. Sorry the clips ended so abruptly just then. Member of staff just came over and said hello. Uh, thought she might have wanted something but no it's all good. She just said hello. Um, so the canopy over this station is quite nice. Um, makes it look more you know important than some of the other stations on the line I suppose. Um, very red theme in terms of the uh, building and the architecture but it looks like another one of these old buildings on the entrance which looks quite nice. Um, this station is also the junction for the Swanage Railway um, which goes over to uh, Corfe Castle and Swanage. Um, now I know that in the summertime or what used to happen was there used to be a 158 that ran from uh, well ran over to Swanage uh, sorry over to Corfe Castle on the Swanage Railway which was quite cool actually. Um, who knows whether they'll reintroduce it it would be very good if they did something to try out something to get on a video so we'll see. Um, yeah so the station is quite nice we won't yap on too much about it because the service pattern's nothing different but yes lovely station something we just spotted over here at Wareham as well is what looks to be the remnants of an old platform um, now whether or not um, this used to serve Corfe Castle and Swanage or maybe just used to be like a loop platform to allow for other trains to go past but like Brockenhurst I don't know 
but it looks like it was an old bay platform actually because if you look there's a obviously the footbridge is up there and you can see um, there's some like buffers old buffers right at the end so i think it might have been a bay platform for the swanage railway or at least for trains going from there so that's pretty cool lovely little station anyway um but something i noticed and thought i'd mention so yeah so probably one of the more awkward entrances to wear them is over here because when you walk down it's literally you walk up this pathway and you can just get into the platform there um, there's no real gate that blocks it so um there is no ticket barriers here anyway so entrance into the station and entry into the station is pretty easy so but as you go up here as well this is the footbridge that takes you up there's more of a brick one on this one as well made of bricks bricks and mortar um some of the others aren't but um if you go to the top more modern footbridge i suppose um and it's pretty easy platform one for trains to southampton and london waterloo and platform two down here where it says trains to weymouth so yes um i quite like it here and the views over the station as well as one and then the view over the actual station there so overall not bad also if you look down here there is a level crossing so yes all you level crossing watchers have probably been here so a couple other things to show you here at Wareham so this is the entrance as you walk out this is a lovely entrance to a station the building is beautiful it's um that's me another grade listed one i think it looks at it's really really nice and as you walk um just have a look at the whole thing it's a lovely little building for a station like this though is a junction for a heritage railway you'd expect a nice station really um you know i talk maybe just in general there but yeah it's a lovely building i really like this one year 1886 which presumably is when the station opened um if not it was when the building was, ma was made um had refurbishments since of course with its various rebrands but yeah very good i like it the br sign is also hidden away just over there you can probably just about see that and there's a more in-depth sign so platform two for trains to Dorchester, south and weymouth Platform 1 for trains to Poole, Bournemouth, Brockenhurst, Southampton, Basingstoke, Woking and London Waterloo. So pretty much a very basic pattern of trains, nothing really varied about it. So here as well, as we walk across, this is the level crossing of Wareham. You can see the station and the other side there as well. Don't want to stand around too much, but yeah. Um, yeah that is Wareham station in a nutshell we're going to go look for a shop now and then there'll be one train to film and then we're going to head off okay the partner now it's the 1528 service to Weymouth triple four double oh three on this one Something I found out about this pattern is that it's hourly only on a weekday now, thanks to Southwestern Railway's new timetable change. And then on weekends, it's every half an hour. Well, the train's been really, really busy today, so I'm surprised they haven't increased it. But there we go. Um, Triple four double oh three there anyway, heading out. Next stop for that one is Wool. And we're back here at Wareham, which went to the shop. And uh, we're back here to wait for our train, which is going to be a short while to take us to next stop. Something else I did notice here about one of the signs here at Wareham is that we've got the Southwest, we've got the old, very old Southwest train style of signage underneath where it says you can change it for the Jurassic Coast. But that's the old. There's a newer one, dark blue, and that's the older one. Interesting that. They kept that 
Well, I just forgot to refurbish it. Right, here's triple four o two three. This will be our train take off to the next station. We pull. And update you when we are on board. So we now made it into pool. We're gonna wait for the trip to leave. And I'll update you further after that. It's been a while since we've been back here again. Okay, the partner now is gonna be the 1605 South Western Railway service to London Waterloo from Weymouth. Zero two three there, and this is Pool Station, located right on a massive curve. Uh, the station serves the rather big town of Pool, and is also a terminus station in a in its own way. So South Western Rail, we do have services that terminate here, and they do go around and turn around on a siding or a, almost like a track loop. Turns around, comes back here uh, onto platform one. Terminates on platform two, goes in on platform one afterwards. The platform's fairly busy, we are expecting a train due in very shortly. Uh, the station does serve purely South Western Railway to London Waterloo, either starting here, doing the stop of service, which at the moment is only doing Winchester to Bournemouth anyway. Um, there is a service starting here to London Waterloo, but at the moment it's actually the second, what would normally be the Weymouth diagram, but it's only being started short here at Poole at the moment, due to uh, the timetable change. So, uh, we'll go take a look around, wait for this train, and update you from there. Okay, arriving now, it's the 1614 South Western Railway service to Weymouth from London Waterloo, pulling into platform two here at Poole. Uh, Going to be triple four, uh, zero four three on this one. See this one leave to Weymouth in just a minute. Okay, leaving now is going to be the delayed 1614 South Western Railway service to Weymouth. Calling at Hamworthy, Halton Heath, Wareham, Wool, Morton, Dorchester South, Upway, and Weymouth. Platform goes heading over to Weymouth. You might be able to see a triple four peeking out from just the other side just then. That's actually our train that's going to be coming in a bit later. So, yeah. Right, we're just walking up here, and this is um, Pool's footbridge. So, run down, not really, actually. Um, to be honest, I'm not really rating that. I've just the view over it is actually quite cool, actually. Look, the platform there, you got the uh, you got the dual carriageway, which sits literally adjacent to the station, and you've got the harbour, which goes beyond the dual carriageway. It's a lovely view over actually, I'm really liking this. It's a lovely station and a really good view. Um, and when you look over this side, you can see the complete, complete curve to the platform. So yes, that's basically pool station in a nutshell um, with the curved platform and everything. I actually like this, very, very good. Um, 
I do rate it highly in terms of view over the footbridge is actually pretty good so yeah so that here's Paul's entrance Paul's entrance is here lovely roof design actually um, almost has that harbour feel to it I don't know what it is there's something about it very blue theme to it I actually really like the uh, entrance it's uh, the boat racks everywhere um, this station is really really busy from the most part as well so yeah I really like um, Paul station's entrance take a stroll well we take a stroll in but it's quite busy in the ticket office but there's nothing really special to it there is the entrance to the pool. Oh, the Midlands this time. Yeah. This platform, well, we've got the signs here. Got the platform support. Bit inaccurate. This platform trains to Bournemouth, Bottom House, Southampton, Basingstoke, Reading, London, the Midlands, and the North. Not true. Basing up to Basingstoke is right. For, for the other, for London is right too. But for Reading and the Midlands and the North, you need to change at Bournemouth. So, the other one. Platform two trains to Hamworth, everywhere and Wall, Morton, Gloucester, South, Parkway, and Weymouth. Bit more in depth. So here's our train. We're going to be taking this over to Bournemouth, our next station. Uh, we've got two triple boards, both in the old livery. This one's starting here at Poole, going to London Waterloo. So we're going to board it now, and we'll update you when we're on board. Right, just arriving now into Bournemouth. Been a while since we've been back here. Wait for the train to go out and then update you from there. Okay, so we've just made it into Bournemouth station. Now the station itself is quite magnificent in how it's designed and, and everything like that, the architecture. Um, funnily enough, 450 is actually on this platform which I've always said was never used. But on this one, <laughs> it's been used. It's forming a service to Basingstoke. Um, it's actually being used for once. I'm not quite surprised by that. There we go. Um, so Bournemouth Station has another company that runs it cross country. They run to Manchester Piccadilly from here. We've not got any cross countries just here as of yet, um, but we will see uh, what's what very soon. Uh, but yes, Bournemouth Canopy is amazing. We'll go have a look over the footbridge and everything in just a minute. I'm to find out now, 54010 and 004. Heading on the 1659 Southwestern Railway service to London Waterloo. Now we are back at Bournemouth in a little while so we'll get the entrance shot when we come back. For now uh, we've got six minutes so I'm just going to go and get the footbridge shot and then we're going to get on a train to another station then we'll come back and I'll get the last little bit. So this is the footbridge of Bournemouth. Look over, there's the station. Triple four is in there. And then on the other side very quickly. About to too much in the way there it is. So, uh, we're now going to make our way over to uh, our next stop. Okay, so here we have 450.095. This is going to be our train, which takes us to the next stop, which is going to be Christchurch. So, we'll board this one now, and we'll update you when we get there. Right, so just made it here into Christchurch. This is a station I've never been to before, so I'm looking forward to... Uh, getting this one uh, ticked off, I guess. And we're, uh, yeah, so yeah. Okay, off goes 450095 now. Heading over on a surface from Bournemouth to Basingstoke. So as we wait here, this is Christchurch station. 
located on the uh, southwest main line beyond Bournemouth. So this station looks a little bit like Wareham, I suppose, um, but the tracks, are, the, the platforms are a lot longer. Uh, I've never been here before. This is my first ever time visiting Christchurch. So brand new station, <laughs> excuse me, brand new station for me. Uh, let's have a look around and see. So um, we'll update you in a minute. Um, we're gonna go have a look around. Right, so this is one entrance to Christchurch, just through that door over there. This almost looks like Christchurch's back door. It, I'm not even joking, it does look like the back entrance. Kind of looks like someone's left it open and you just walk right in. It really does look like what it is. Um, nothing really to say it's Christchurch either, it's just literally that. So, you walk in, and literally all you see is this sort of muggy, muggy pit almost. That's about it. So yeah. Footbridge for Christchurch. Um, quite old, rusty. I mean, looking over the station though. Probably this side's the best, I'd say. I mean, it's not too bad, really. If you look at either side, it's kind of basic to be honest. There's nothing special about it. Um, the station itself is quite big. I mean, it's only two platforms, but like in terms of like area, it's very, very big. If you get on here, the entrance is just down to the right. This is probably the main entrance to Christchurch. Yes, it is. There's the big sign, there's the building. A lot nicer around here. And yeah, car park all around here. And then the big sign that says Christchurch and the building. Um, Side entrance open at the moment because the ticket office is closed. But this is the entrance to Christchurch Station. So yes, not bad. Very similar to Wareham though. Okay, the point on now is at 17.30. Southwestern Railway service to London Waterloo. Triple four zero three four and triple four double eight three, which we saw earlier. So they go heading out. We're now going to wait for our train, which is going to take us over to the next stop, which will be back to Bournemouth. So here's our train. Sorry about the late clip. Bring the numbers when the train actually leaves to head out uh, at Bournemouth. Right, just to confirm, we're now on board the triple four heading over. Next stop, kind of services, post to land, if you can post to land, make sure you aren't going to just one to nine. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, we're heading back to Bournemouth now. And next stop will be Oakstown, but we're not getting up there today. We'll be Bournemouth to head to again in a bit. Just made it back to Bournemouth. Uh, the triple fours have just arrived to here. Didn't actually get the numbers um, in full, but um, I'm going to grab them in just a second as the train leaves. So we shouldn't be too long uh, at this point now. So I'll update you in just a moment. But yeah, we're back here again, and this is the final stop of the day. I'm going to wait here to change for our train back, and we're going to do a loop around to Southampton Central now. So entrance to Bournemouth is here. Very, very big entrance. I know there's another one, but we don't really have time to go to it. Um, but this is the big main entrance to the station. It's massive. Very, very magnificent entrance. Not as big as some, but it's nice enough. Uh, as you go in, the barriers are straight ahead, and obviously you've seen the massive canopy over the station already. It is amazing. Uh, so we're going to head back in, we're going to go wait for our train, and then we'll take you when we're on board. This is the entrance to Bournemouth. Wanted to see this. 
is very much a very big one. And I think grade listed maybe? Should be if not. As we walk down, our train's pulling in, it's triple four double oh nine, along with something else. basically all the stations that we're visiting today but we're going to update you when we get there to finish the video there so see you soon all right we're now leaving Bournemouth it's 4.50 over there as well which means 4.50 good evening I'm speaking I'm talking about the South Australia Railway service to London Waterloo calling now Brockenhurst Southampton Central Southampton Airport Parkway Winchester Woking and London Waterloo schedule arrival time into Waterloo is 1950 if you have any questions then you Okay, going out now is the 18.30 South Western Railway Service from Weymouth Sorry, from Poole to London Waterloo Two. No, there you go. Something I was going to say, so I'll update you in just a minute. That's the 1835 South Western Railway service from Salisbury to Romsey. Just before I filmed that, what is it was coming in whilst we were waiting? So, I'm going to finish the video here from Dorset. Now we're in Hampshire, Southampton Central, back here again. No one shouting in, having a go at me this time. <laughs> um, so, uh, there is also 66 in there. I don't really have time to film it, but there it is 66, 720 in a very colourful GBRF livery, how nice so there's that one so as that one goes in I want to thank you guys for watching this video from Dorset if you have liked what you've seen please do like and subscribe and please do hit the notifications bell for more always do appreciate that any ideas for trips etc although every station will get covered just over time remember it is a long term project there's no time limit um, I'll do it at my own pace but I will work to do it you know, the fastest possible time, but we'll see. But I wouldn't do, I do well, I want to do it at my own pace. That's just the main focus. So, um, without banging on too much, um, it's been a really, really good day out. I don't know if he has a YouTube channel. Do you have a channel? Do you, do you have a channel? A YouTube channel, do you have one? Huh? Do you have a YouTube channel? Yes. Which one is it called? Southern Train Spotter 2006. Southern Train Spotter 2006. He's been joining me all day, so check Brandon's channel out. Um, we've had a really good day out. And here comes 158890 to round off the day. We're now going to make our way over. Our train is due very shortly. So, guys, thank you very much for watching this video from Dorset and traveling around the area the next episode of every platform will be from wiltshire so look out for that one but the next video you'll see will actually be a new series more on that very soon see you soon though take care the freight's leaving very slowly though so i don't really have time to film it but the freight's saying goodbye so thank you guys for watching and i will see you soon